All right, YouTube, this is Caster Master 2003 back again with another deck profile. My daughter really wanted to show everybody what she plays with her, and here she is. Hi, everyone. I'm Princess Melodious, and I'm going to show the deck Melodious Divas from one of my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh shows, and it actually came from my name. So, <laughs> here we go. So we're going to start with some links. We have a Kashik Magician. Yeah, a Kashik Magician. Then I have Nightmare Cerberus. Cerberus. Then I have Decode Talker, which is really good. Mm -hmm. Then I have a Gave Dragon, which the four. It's only four. It's the only link four I had that I could spare. And then I have fusions. One Shiburta, two Shiburta, three Shiburta. Then I have three Bloom Divas. Isn't that your favorite? Why? What does she do? She. Nobody can attack her. They get. So they can attack her, but no one can destroy her with battle or card effects. Yeah. And they take the damage. Okay, yeah. Then I have Bloom Prima, which is probably another one of those good cards. Because it's sort of like her. Like, she, they need, like, they need a Maestra and a Melodious Diva. Hmm. And they might also have Songstress, too. Then we have two... X, Y, Z. X, Z. Then I have number 41. Baguska, the terribly tired to pyre. Okay. Then I have Evil Swarm. X, Katon. Night. Then, we'll scoop these over. Alright, now she's on to her main deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now I have my monsters. First, we'll go the Melodious, then we're going to do the others. Okay, first, I have two Melodious Songstress. And then, I have two Solo Songstress. Then, I have Shapina. Shapina. The Melodious Maestra, one of those. I have uh, Mozarta, the Melodious Maestra, which is another one of the, of the good cards that can go into the two Maestra ones. Then we have Opera, the Melodious Diva. Then we have Elegy, the Melodious Diva. Elegy, whatever it is. Then we have Tam Tam. Then we have Serenade. Then we have two scores. Then we have two Sonatas. Sonatas. I don't know. Cannon, the Bologna's Diva. And the last kind of Diva is Araya, the Bologna's Diva. Aria, whatever it is. Then I have two Crystal Roses. <laughs> Another one of the special cards I added into the deck. Mm hmm. Then I have King of the Swamp. It has a really good effect. What does it do? Because it, it, like, it changes to another monster, and then you can fusion link or something, something. It's fusion summon. Yeah. But what else does it do? It has a secondary effect also. But the other few, oh yeah, I guess. You can discard this card to the graveyard and one polymerization from your deck to your hand. It searches out a poly. Yeah, I know. Right. It's kind of like Fusion Sage. Yeah. I don't have to read Fusion Sage. Then I have Amatura Soup. It's a long name. She's really good. If she's flip summoned, you banish everything else. Cool. Okay, then we're on to the spells. Here's two of the very good ones. Fusion Gate. It's a really good How many spell. do you run? Three. Okay. You have to show them that you're in three. 
Jeez, oh. you're in stir. Sorry. Okay, now we gotta scoot it up. Here we go. Then I have three polymerizations. Alright. Then I have one of these. First movement solo. Then I have arrival rivals. Then I have Dark Hole. Fusion Sage, which is kind of like the other. King of Swamp. Then we have Mind Control. Then we have Master Reborn. Okay. And now we're down to the traps. I have five traps, so we all don't really yeah. have to throw a fit at that. Anyway. Well. anyway, I have two Quakings. Then I have this. What's that? Trying to trip you. Okay. Then I have Melody's Illusion. And then I have Compulsor. Compulsory. And then I have Curse Seal. Other forbidden spell. Yeah. Elena, I want to thank you for doing your deck profile on my channel. You're welcome. And I stay am tuned your for Caster Master Jr.'s deck profile. He's working on it. But this is Caster Master 2003 signing off with Princess Melodious. Blah! <laughs> Have a good day, you guys.